Now, in DaVinci Resolve, there are four ways that I can think of to convert LogForge. The first one is using the tools that we have in the program to manually convert a LogForge. So in DaVinci Resolve, we have several tools that can adjust the contrast and exposure of our clip. The first one is using the tone curve over here, as you can see. Then we have our primary color wheels, we have our log color wheels, and we have our HDR color wheels. All of them can be used to convert this log footage. And always we have to keep in mind the scopes and the waveform to use as a visual reference to ensure that we know what we're doing and that our image is correctly balanced. Now, this is a bit of an imprecise method because it requires a lot of experience and it requires your subjective uh, interpretation of the scopes. Now, the second method is using conversion LUTs. A lot of camera brands like Canon and Sony release their conversion LUTs for the log footage, and you can find them in their official websites. In this case, I have my conversion LUT for Sony over here in a utility pack. And how it works is just you select a node over here. I'm gonna jump into nodes in a bit. I'm just gonna select the conversion LUT, and immediately, as you can see, it looks way better. You can see the before and after, and this is the log footage, and now it looks just like that, ready to be color graded. Now, method number three is color space transform in the effects applied into a single node. So we're gonna go into effects over here. We can select color space, and over here we have color space transform. And this one, just like a lot, you need to drag it onto a node. And I recommend that the lot, the conversion lots, and also the color space transform, you put it in your last node before the export. And over here, you need to just tell DaVinci Resolve what type of video you have in your timeline. So over here, my input color space is gonna be S gamma three, and my input gamma is gonna be S log three. We're basically telling DaVinci Resolve what type of video that we have at our disposal, and immediately it's gonna be converted into a color space that we select over here. By default, it's gonna go into Rec 09. But as we can see, it's converted and it looks quite nice. So that's the third method. The fourth method, which is the one I recommend, and I made a tutorial about it, which is color management. I'll link the video to color management over here to dive into detail. So color management, you need to go into your project settings over here, go into color management, and then select YRGB, color manage from DaVinci Resolve. And here is straight out from camera, automatic, and what we're gonna do is select save. Automatically, as you can see, our video is converted into a color space, which is workable. Now over here is transforming our log footage into Rec. 09, but I would recommend to deactivate the automatic, go into the manual tools, and over here select the output color space depending on what devices you're gonna export your video for. For example, P3 DCI, maybe you want sRGB for YouTube, or maybe you want some SDs. Over here, you can select them. And as you can see, depending on the output setting, it's gonna change a bit of the export settings and the coloring. Now, as you can see, color management isn't applied into any node. It's doing it in the background before you export your video. So it's not taking any space of your node. So this is the best method because it also converts all your footage throughout your timeline with just one single click. If you like the short clip and you're interested in watching the full tutorial, check the video that's appearing on screen right here. And if you want to edit in a faster manner with be photo or video, you can check out my preset on Lot Shop right here. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.